now at six. Back to school in Broward County, where safety is a first day focus. The child's made the day as normal as possible. But security enhancements only add to the jitters for some. I'm scared because it's just a lot of things went through my mind. Tonight, a new reality for a new school year. And Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcie had a very busy day visiting a number of schools as classes resumed. So how did day one go? CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in Fort Lauderdale where the superintendent held a news conference late this afternoon. Gary. Well, there was excitement and no lack of solemnity today as the nation's sixth largest school district sent 272,000 students back to class. Broward school leaders late Wednesday reviewed the first day back to class, mindful of recent history. This first day of school, um, which is a day and six months out from the horrible tragedy we had in February, um, is, is a different one for us. At Harbordale Elementary, parents picked up their children after an exciting, some might say picture perfect, first day back. Little Ariana class was happy. It was good. I liked it. For mom, a hectic routine. Getting the kids ready for school, running around, making sure that they understand school safety. Just another day. Just another day, you know. <laughs> At Crystal Lake, older students got back to books with a bit of trepidation. I'm scared because it's just a lot of things running through my mind, but this school is a great school. Students and parents were made to wait this year. The gate didn't open until 8.30, an inconvenience for security reasons. That is a big deal because we used to open the gates at 7 o'clock and we've had, we've had kids here as early as 7.15. Superintendent Robert Runcie traveled to schools across the county Wednesday and saw that myriad new security measures were in place. We were very pleased um, to see how protocols are being strictly enforced at our schools. Um, it's caused some inconvenience, uh, but we absolutely believe the trade-offs um, are worth it. In what is now a very new and worrisome normal trade-offs that are worth it and necessary. Now, the debate and criticism over events leading up to the Parkland massacre promised to continue uh, over whether it could have been averted, whether enough has been done since courtroom battles loom, as do political fights at the ballot box as Broward County's children, parents, faculty try to get back to normal. In Fort Lauderdale, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.